Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video there, okay, I'm gonna, oh, there's hair getting into my nails. Today's video is gonna be super laid back um, and I'm going to show you guys how I crimp my hair. Not curl my hair, but crimp my hair. I'm gonna be using a straightener from Paul Mitchell. I'm gonna spray some of this bombshell spray in my hair. All right, so my hair should be all good and protected. This is already at 340, so now the straightener is just waiting on me. I'm gonna start by sectioning off my hair. Put part of my hair up in a bun, just temporarily while we start crimping this part. Okay, so split it into two. So you take a section of your hair, grab your straightener, Put it through as high as you can go and then twist up for a few seconds and then move where you would move downwards and twist down for a few seconds twist up you're literally twisting kind of like both the your wrist and the actual straightener and twist down and you're gonna hold it that way for a few seconds and keep going till you hit the ends. Okay, that is one strand. I'm gonna move closer. I know you won't see the top of my head, but I'm gonna move closer so you at least see what this looks like. It's a little crimped and it's a little messy, which is what we are going for. I'm gonna do the exact same motion. Take your strand, take your straightener. You're gonna clamp down as high as you can go and pull upward, like twist your wrist almost. And warning, sometimes this can hurt your wrist. I have weak sauce wrists, so they do. Twist. You see it twisting? And twist. Which reminds me of the scene there where Ross is like, and lift. And lift. <laughs> uh, if you watch Friends, you get it. If not, you probably think I'm a weirdo. So that's it. I, this is so simple, and like since this is such a fun, messy look, you don't have to be a perfectionist, and that's what I love the most about crimping my hair. See, crimped, ready to go. Crimped. I'm gonna do it for all of them. I will end up fast forwarding this video, so I don't totally bore you. And that's it, girls, that's really it. I will spray some texturizing spray, and it's Amika's Undone Texture Spray. This stuff is just a game changer. I love the way it makes my hair feel, and it smells so good. I like to spray upwards a little. And then I will put on a little hairspray, also using Amika. And just spray. We are gonna move on to this side. Here's a close up, and I'll zoom out later. Take my straightener, clamp it down at the highest point as you can, this strand, and then twist your wrist up like this. And then move down like maybe half an inch to an inch and twist your wit twist your wrist the other way. So this way. Back the other way. There we go. That's this side done. So same thing, you guys. I will just be, first of all, scooting back. I will be spraying the texturizing spray. Oh, you don't like the spray? My dog just ran away. And some hairspray. I will add a little more hairspray and some argon oil whenever um, this is all done. So I'm going to take what I just finished and I'm going to take that clip and clamp those together so I don't pull any strands from that batch. And now it's time for the top. So I'm going to start with this side and I'm going to take a strand, do the same thing girls, you're just going to take your straightener, clamp as high as you can go. as Give yourself room to twist up 
and twist down. Good, good, looking good. This is the finished look. It's a crimp tear style. I did it, I think I had this hairstyle in my last YouTube video and a few of you asked some questions about how I did my hair. It is very, very simple. You just need a straightener and that's it. That'll do it. So thank you guys for tuning in. I will actually come a little closer so you can see what's going on. This is the crimped final look and I'll turn so you kind of get a feel for how everything looks. Really messy, but still looks voluminous and fun. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was easy for you and you're able to mimic it. So let me know if you do. I'd love to see your look. But thank you guys for tuning in. And of course, we'll chat soon. Bye.